TGIF. Happy Friday, everybody. I am getting ready to head out to Naples, Florida for the weekend with Brian. <laughs> When I go away, I really like to still stay on track. I don't think that it's an excuse for me to just go balls to the wall. You know, I'm going to come back home and it's back to reality and I don't want to feel like shit. And in the past, that was what I would do. I would go away for the weekend. That was my excuse to get food that I normally didn't eat, come back, feel like shit, not have the motivation, skip some workouts. My, you know, when you have a couple days of eating shitty, it's really hard to get back on track and back to eating the way that you used to eat. So I don't want those habits to form. I know all too well what it feels like. So when we do these little like weekend getaways, we stay on track for the most part and then we'll have one meal where we don't worry about tracking it, but we do give ourselves enough room in our macros to accommodate whatever we're eating. So we pretty much are staying on track the whole time. So today, Brian's gonna get here in like 30 minutes and we're just gonna head right out. I already had my French toast for breakfast. Right now I am putting together my oat bran. This is basically like pure, pureed oatmeal is what I'm like, what I tell people because it's really fine. It's not, it's like sand, but it has a little better macros than oatmeal. It's a little bit lower carb, uh, 25 grams of carbs for a serving. And I think the Quaker seal cut oats is like 28 grams of carbs. So it's really not that big of a difference, but every carb counts, right? <laughs> carbs. Yeah. Oat bran. Oat bran. <laughs> Cover with water. You want to have a good amount of water covering the oat bran because when you heat it up, it is going to soak up all the water and like expand. And I usually will put um, vanilla extract in here, but I have none. So I am going to sprinkle a little bit of stevia this is the best stevia i've ever had in my life go it's expensive 9.99 for this tiny little thing i don't know why it's so good but trader joe's trader joe's does it again just a little bit to sweeten it up i'm gonna put some protein powder in here and uh some walden farms anyway but and i'm also out of cinnamon i'm such a fucking failure lately when we moved here we got rid of so much stuff and I forgot to get more cinnamon so I'm gonna put pumpkin pie spice I did this for my breakfast this morning instead of um, putting cinnamon in my batter because I didn't have any I put pumpkin pie spice and it was actually absolutely delicious and I think I'm gonna continue to do that because it was that good so just stir it all up. Try this recipe. My mom hates oatmeal and she loves this oat bran. Cooks in the microwave. We're gonna cook it for a minute and a half, take it out and then stir it and then put it in for another minute and a half and it's done. And when you're making this, watch it. Don't be far from the microwave, that glare, because it expands and a lot of the time it explodes. So the bigger the tubware, the better because it will expand and explode. I'm just warning you. And I'm going to now get some vitamins and like my supplements together because I do bring supplements and vitamins with me when I go away. I am still on track. This glare is pissing me off. I'm gonna open up the lines look at her girlfriend she loves my little garden area hey girl it's 
too dark to see her, but okay. Let me show you. I only bring the necessities, really. Um, I used to bring everything and put them in a little Ziploc baggie, but we don't have the Ziploc bags. So I'm gonna bring my CLA, my fish oil, my digestive enzymes. I don't live without this. If you're suffering from feeling bloated, especially when you convert to like your old eating habits and then switch to a new cleaner lifestyle, you will be bloated for a little while in the beginning because your body's adjusting to like all the whole foods, the good nutrients that you're giving it. So digestive enzymes really help digest your food. So a minute 30 is up. If you can see a lot of the oat bran is just stuck there and the water is up top. So that's why I just stir it to make sure it's all incorporated. Stir it all together. It smells so good. The pumpkin pie spice has just so many like warm, yummy spices that it smells so good. So I'm gonna put it in for another minute 30 and then it should be perfect. All right, what other supplements do I wanna bring? Um, I should bring my iron and my potassium because I am deficient in these two supplements or vitamin minerals. So it just helps me if I continuously take them every day. Oh, I just got these in the mail yesterday. Meal prep spices. Look at how, like, this is a normal size spice container. It's insane. And I'm actually, when we go, when we go away, we used to like go out to eat every single meal and it just costs a lot of money and we don't like to go away to these weekend trips and be broke when we get back. We like to do this frequently. So we will always, as of recently, this has not been an always thing, but we will make our own breakfast and make a big nice breakfast when we go away so we don't have to spend money on eating breakfast and we can control our macros, our calories and have a nice lean, low fat breakfast, moderate carb breakfast, high protein, something that's gonna keep us full all day long. So I'm gonna bring just one of these seasonings. This is the garlic and onion, the rustic herb flavor. And I'm gonna bring this so we can like season our eggs and stuff. Look how big this is now. So much. Yummy, it smells so good. I'm just gonna stir it. All the water has been absorbed and it's perfectly, it's like thick. It's so good and I actually prefer it cold. I don't know why Brian thinks I'm like the weirdest human ever because it's like paste almost, but I really enjoy it, I don't know. So I'm gonna let this cool for a minute before I finish it. Another thing I'm bringing, I just bought this. I don't know where it is though. We just got this at Target, okay? It cooks eggs in the microwave and they make a perfect little circle for like an egg McMuffin. This, I don't know why it's not shutting. I have to have Brian fix it. I put it in the fucking dishwasher. Oh, did it. No, I didn't. Anyway, okay. Put your eggs, egg whites in here. I cracked an egg in here. Cook it in the microwave for a minute to a minute 30. If you have a lot of eggs, two minutes, and it cooks eggs perfectly. We're staying in an Airbnb in Naples that is it's like almost a studio, I think. It's a really tiny Airbnb, but it's perfect. Um, so it doesn't have a full kitchen, but it, it has like hot plates and a microwave and a toaster, toaster oven. So I'm bringing this so we can make a little egg McMuffins. And we always just will go out to a local grocery store or a local little market and pick up just a carton of eggs, um, toast, and usually some type of veggie or bacon or sausage or something just to make a yummy breakfast. So I'm gonna bring this. And to finish my oat bran, Walden's, Walden Farms maple syrup is gonna sweeten the oat bran. 
Oat Bran is pretty bland, so please, please sweeten it. The more the better, because I'm telling you, it's really bland, but it tastes delicious when you sweeten it, so. And then I'm just gonna put a scoop of protein powder in here and top it with blueberries, put it in the fridge so it cools down a little bit, and that's gonna be my snack, which will keep me full probably until dinner. We really enjoy to do early dinners when we go out because we get full and then we don't eat for the rest of the night because we're full. So we are probably aimed to do like a six o'clock dinner and call it a day. I'm gonna get my supplements because I am gonna bring some pre-workout, BCAAs, things like that. Okay. Supplements I'm gonna bring with me. We're just driving there so I can just bring the whole tubs. So, BCAAs shredded. So this is what I'm gonna be sipping on when we go to the beach. Um, I'm probably actually going to have some of this right when we start our little road trip to Naples because I don't want to eat yet. I'm not really hungry, but I just want to taste something. And the watermelon melon flavor is just amazing. And it has L-carnitine in here. So it um, will help with burning your fat for fuel, for energy, and it's just awesome. It's like a little fat burning BCAA. So I will be drinking this throughout the whole weekend. I also have these little sample packets of BCAAs with energy so that if I want a little pick me up in the morning, I can have that. So I'm just gonna bring a stack of these. CLA plus carnitine, start my morning with this. And Genesis is my current greens powder. Um, it's from Legion Athletics, pretty high in carbs, 12 grams of carbs for a serving. I wouldn't normally have this if my calories weren't so high. So I am gonna bring this just so I can get my micronutrients because that's very important. And then best protein, chocolate flavor, obviously extra protein. And that's gonna be my supplements. I don't, we are out of pre-workout. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. So I probably will just be having the BCAAs with energy and pairing it with my CLA plus carnitine for my pre-workout stack because we do work out when we're away. We find a local gym and we love it. So that's it. I have my bathing suits, I have my clothes, I have my gym stuff, I have everything. I'm just gonna put all this stuff away. Get ready, Brian's gonna be here. I, he actually, it's 12.07, so he probably just got out of work. He'll be here any minute. We're gonna pack up the car and the next time I see you, we will be in Naples. Oh, I can't wait guys. See you there, bye. Just got to our Airbnb. Oh my God, it's the cutest little studio. Oh my God. Selfie mirror, they just know all too well. So cute. And there's a little kitchen. Some waterside shops near us. It's like a little little efficiency kitchen. Small apple store. So adorable. I got a little bit of work to do. And then we're gonna go to town, maybe walk around, get some dinner. It's like what, babe, three o'clock? 3.15. 3.15, we're thinking like a six o'clock dinner probably. So I'm gonna get some work done, relax in this bed and just enjoy our time here in Naples. I will be sure to bring you guys along for the ride, see what we eat, see what we do. It's just gonna be a relaxing weekend, but I'm gonna get in bed. Headed out to go to dinner. Look at this outside area, how freaking cute is this? We're going to a seafood restaurant tonight. Probably gonna stick with, they have like a poke, so I'm just gonna probably do a glass of wine. I really want like a freezing cold glass of white wine and in like a cold glass. <laughs> and um, yeah, just the poke. I just had, I had my lunch a little, bit, a little while ago, so I wasn't going to go to dinner like starving. And that 
really helps me with like overeating and binging and just going all out um eat a little bit before you go so you're not arriving to the restaurant absolutely starving but it's a nice restaurant so i'm not gonna take my camera with me i think brian and i are gonna take some photos because all this greenery is like insane around it's beautiful so we're gonna have a nice dinner i will see you guys tomorrow maybe in the next vlog don't know if this one's getting like long so if i don't see you tomorrow then you'll see it in the next naples vlog Bye.